What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Scott, Sue, Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, common, neutral way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate all the love and support to the channel. It helps support a single mom and two kids. And yes, I don't have um, primary physical custody, um, full primary physical custody of them right now, but I do have visitation rights. Um, and I absolutely am going to utilize them as I always have. Uh, <laughs> I mean, as the primary parent <laughs> and even in the McClendon standards. So um, I'm still a single mom and two kids. Just saying, just saying. Um, so I love you guys so much. Uh, I really, really, really do. Um, and I, I love all the love and support you guys have been showing me. Um, and I love it. Um, I do, I do, I do. I received another channeling. We're going strong today. I didn't anticipate on going strong today. Um, y'all know that, but we are, so I'm here and, um, I've still got six signs to do left of August. Um, I might do those tonight. Um, I was going to get out, but it's storming here in my city, and I don't, I mean, I drive in the rain, but I don't like to. Um, my daughter calls me an old woman um, because I go below the speed limit um, because I don't want to get into an accident. So um, I could get out, but I I just don't want to because I don't want to get into a wreck or something. So so um, I'm just going to chillax here tonight, and I might do some of this more signs tonight, okay? All right, so um, this is not a good one. I just want to let everybody know I deliver the good and the bad. This is not good, okay? All right, so the channel message I received was a particular city that made a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money off of family in the past, very illegally. Um, they invested a lot of this money into structural, um, structural developments in the city um, through many series of unfortunate events, the, str um, the structures they, um, they built on this illegal money funded that funded these, um, projects, um, through many series of unfortunate events, strange, very, 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 very strange things are about to occur. And, um, um, I heard huge, huge, huge cracks in parking garages. Um, hold on. Huge, huge, huge cracks in parking garages. That was one. Give me a second. Oh, yeah. A very strange, large sinkhole um, in a particular ball field coming soon. Uh, that one, too. A very large sinkhole. Um in a particular ball field. I heard a ball field coming soon. Um, and uh, what was the other one? Um, oh, very, 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 very large potholes uh, are going to, going to start forming um, in um, very busy city streets. That's what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That's pretty crazy. Um, it's going to cost a lot to have these repaired. A lot. And this city doesn't have near the money they used to. Near the money. You plug it in, how it resonates. That's crazy. Well, they shouldn't have illegally profited off a of family in the past. Um. They probably did it through illegal voyeur cameras. I've been picking that up and picking it up and picking it up again. So strong. Um, I quit picking it up. Now I'm picking it up again. So it's a city, a freaking cityized area, an urbanized developed area, not no backwoods area. It is a cityized developed area, a city. So I'm thinking heads of like city council people agree to do this. Like big wig energy agree to do this. This is so, but they're about to get their negative karma in the form of money loss. This is terrible. This is terrible. They should have never done that, though. You need to do things the right way, man. And that's just the truth. Um, 
Okay, so it's a very cityized area, developed urbanized area. I heard parking garages, so I mean, this is a very developed area. I uh, heard large cracks coming in parking garages. Um, that's safety issues, safety violations. Um, I wonder if they're going to have to shut the parking garage down or parking garages. Um, yikes. Very, 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 very large cracks. And it's coming in many garages. Many of them. Very, 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 very large cracks. And it's coming in many of them. Many of the parking garages. So, the city apparently has several parking garages, which, you know, most cities do. I mean, my city has a ton of them. Um, so, Many parking garages, very, very, very large cracks, um, very large. So not small cracks, large cracks. I think it's going to affect the structure. It's going to, I think it's going to cause severe structural damage to the um, um, parking garages is exactly what I think. Um, and I heard many of them, many large cracks. So not just one, many of them. And it's some kind of very, 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 very large sinkhole about to occur in a ball field um a sinkhole man a, and a large one it's not just you know it's not like a little cover it up with the ball dirt i've done that many times with my kids out in the ball you know people do that if it's a little bee hole cover it up with the ball dirt uh, no large sinkhole a large sinkhole in some kind of ball field and some kind of very 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 large potholes about to be created in city streets um downtown streets and other access pathway streets downtown streets and other access pathway streets so very large sinkhole i'm not sorry not very large sinkholes very large potholes about to develop in asphalt on roadways on down her downtown in a downtown of a city which is very busy i don't care if it's uh the largest city in the state the largest city in the country or not um and um not only in downtown streets which are very 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 busy but um other access pathway streets so i think probably streets connected to maybe the downtown or streets where you can access the downtown because somehow the downtown area is very significant in this city uh, i think that's probably where the parking garages are that's about to experience these huge cracks um this is terrible and a very particular large sinkhole in a particular ball field it sounds like all this is upcoming um you plug it in how it resonates but it sounds like it's their negative karma because they used a family through some kind of back door illegal money laundering scam. And I didn't hear money laundering, but how else did they build all these um, nice parking garages and I guess a ball field, maintain the ball field or create a new ball field or what have you, what have you. I mean, they siphoned the money. They did. Apparently, they used a family to siphon money for city projects, is what it sounds like here. Wow. This is sick, is what this is. It's sick as hell. But the city is about to experience extremely negative karma. They do not want to take responsibility for what they did, but they're about to have to in the financial department. It is about to get so bad. They do not want to take responsibility for what they did, but they're about to have to in the financial department. It's about to get so bad. And I heard the city's already experiencing huge financial deficits um, financially, um, but it sounds like they can't profit off the family anymore. So you plug it in how it resonates. This is terrible. This is terrible. You plug it in how it resonates. And there's about to be a very, 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 very significant, very bad thunderstorm coming soon in this city. The wind is about to get so, 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 so bad. 
it's about to take large limbs and large trees down and it's about to cause structural deficits in many areas. It's about to affect many people. And there's about to be a very significant thunderstorm about to occur in this city. I heard the wind, basically the wind gusts are about to come hugely, huge wind gusts, huge. Um, and I heard when it, um, the wind gusts happen and the severe thunderstorm happen, it ha uh, happens, it has not happened yet, but when it does, um, I heard it's going to uproot trees and large limbs and it's basically going to cause a lot of structural damage. It sounds like to businesses or homes or maybe businesses and homes, I heard it's going to affect many people. So the wind gusts sound like they're about to get out of control, like crazy out of control. Um, this city has, is about to experience some very negative karma, but it sounds like, I heard that um, these people don't want to take responsibility, but they're about to have to in the financial sector um, because what they did to the family in the past. They profited and made all this money off the family in the past behind the scenes um, secretly to pad the city's pocketbooks, but they can't do it anymore. Now they're already experiencing financial hardships well they're about to experience more financial hardships with all these series of unfortunate events that are about to occur with all these cracks and sinkholes and potholes and this huge ass thunderstorm about to occur, occur apparently um you plug it in how it resonates this is serious um but it sounds like it's their negative karma for what they how they mistreated citizens in their own city in the past and i'm just being serious The horrible large cracks are about to happen soon and quickly, soon and quickly, soon and quickly, soon and quickly to these parking garages. A lot of these parking garages are going to have to be shut down. It's going to cause severe traffic issues and severe other issues in this city. Okay, the parking garages are very significant. So huge cracks are about to occur in these parking garages. Huge. And it sounds like a lot of them. It's going to be so bad. I heard there some of them are going to have to be shut down. Some of the, because uh, it sounds like it's going to be a severe safety issue. Like, I wouldn't want to be parking on any parking garage knowing there's huge ass cracks in there. And that's just the truth. Um, nay, nay. No. You keep my ass at home and my safety in my home. I don't want to die. And that's just the truth. Um, but I heard they're going to have to, they're going to have to be forced to shut them down. So it doesn't sound like they want to because they want to make the money off the parking garages. Um, most parking garages in downtown you have to pay for. At least here in my city you do. Um, but they're going to have to um, the, shut them down. They're going to have to because the cracks are going to be so many of them and so large. They're going to have to for the safety of the citizens. But they're not going to want to because they want to make that money off the parking garage fee, I'm presuming. Um, but I heard it's going to cause traffic issues and other issues. Other issues, I think, it's going to be financial because they're not going to make that $5 to park, $10 to park, $20 to park. Now, whatever city this is, you plug it in how it resonates. This is, woof. Spirit messages you have reflected. Goddess in the moon reverse. Magician in the mirror reverse. Number 52 or 53 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 52 or 53, it could be possible ages of um, you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. 52 or 53. There's about to be huge chaos for these board members. Huge. And chaos for many of these wealthy, influential people in this city that did this. There's about to be huge chaos for the board members. I think city council board members. I heard board members. I'm thinking it's city council board members, but you plug it in how it resonates. And for wealthy, influential people 
prominent members of this community, city, and society, basically, um, that basically was a part of this. So chaos coming for these people. But I think it's financially and probably their reputation is probably about to be tarnished because I think people know about this or about the, they're about to find out about it. And I think people are about to see the sinkhole in the damn ball field about to occur. They're about to see all these potholes pop up. I'm thinking it's probably newly paved asphalt or fairly maintained asphalt. And these potholes just popping the uh, popping up, just popping up. Or large cracks in probably new or newer parking garages. Um, and all this, this huge ass thunderstorm about to occur. That's about to, I think it's about to affect business owners, residents. Citizens, everybody, it's about to cause damage, huge wind damage here. I mean, this is serious. This is serious. These people didn't see how serious it was to take taking advantage of a damn family, all to pad their pocketbooks in the past. A very significant light pole at a ballpark is about to be blown over. Blown over by wind gusts soon. It's about to cause huge damage. Huge damage. A significant... Good God, this is terrible. We're still going. A significant light pole at a particular ballpark, I heard, is about to be blown over. Um, and it is, a, it is about to cost a lot to repair it. A hell of a lot. And someone's going to steal the copper inside of it. Know this. Oh, my God. You put, what the hell? Okay, so um, a significant light pole, I heard, a very expensive one, it sounds like, is about to um, blow over um, at a ballpark soon. Um, a very expensive one, apparently. And I heard um, it hasn't happened yet. I think it's going to happen in that storm. Um, I think it's going to happen in the storm. And when it happens in the storm, I heard it's going to cause a lot of damage at this ballpark. And it sounds like it's going to destroy the light bulb. But I heard when this happens, someone is going to steal the copper out of the ball, uh, the fallen hole. So, uh, copper, um, which I, I don't know. Um, I'm not a thief, but, um, copper is very expensive though. So I'm presuming that's why these thieves are about to steal the copper out of this ball pole. Ball, um, not ball pole, um, light pole, um, because copper is very expensive. And with the, the way inflation has been, um, just period, point blank, I'm sure the prices went up even more. So I'm assuming that's why they're about to steal the copper out of this light pole. But when the light pole topples over and causes not only damage, it's going to, it sounds like it's about to out the light pole, have to get a new light pole. It's going to cause like severe damage to the ballpark, period. And the copper's going to be stole out of it. You plug it in how it resonates. This is terrible. These people did not see how the negative karma was about to come around. But they are about to. All they thought about was money in the past. Someone outside of the city is getting a huge ass wake up call. Huge. Oh my God. So I think this is the um, city council board members here. I heard board members. So I think this is city council board members. Uh, they're not, they were not enlightened, not awakened, not intuitive to the repercussions basically that were going to come after basically you using a family behind the scenes to garner money. I don't think they saw the repercussions. Um, they were not enlightened, not intuitive, not, um, they didn't see how the negative karma was going to come back into the universe. Well, it sounds like this is how it's about to come back. It hasn't happened yet. I think it's masculine and feminine energies. We have magician in the mirror reversed and goddess of the moon reversed. So they're not going to, and they're not going to be able to manifest. They're not going to be able to manifest um, the way they think they're going to be able to manifest. As far as money, because they can't use family anymore. And they're going to be in such a freaking fiscal hole, financial fiscal hole, um, with all this 
damage about to occur in this damn city through weird, crazy ass ways, um, that they're going to, I think they're going to be in the red fiscally is what I think. And I think other people are about to wake up and realize all this damage that's about to happen in the city, especially if maybe they fed through the camera with the city council board members in the past and realize that's why it's happening. I think this is the city council board members here. Not not awakened, not intuitive. They were very greedy, very selfish. Not going to be able to manifest the way they once did. But they never manifested this shit. They basically used a poor family, poor citizens in their own city to do it. I heard someone from outside the city is getting a huge wake-up call. So, sir, ma'am, I think you are um, getting a huge wake-up call outside the city. Uh, whatever city this is and how this resonates and applies. This is sick. This is sick as hell. We have throat chakra and door to value. A woman holding a coin underneath this with the world. Well, that's looking good. Okay, so 39, 31, 42, or 29 can be very significant numbers in one's life. 39, 31, 42, or 29. And also 52, 53. Those could be very significant numbers in one's life. You plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything. Throw chakra upright, door to value upright, woman holding a coin upright, the world upright. These people are about to have such huge financial crises in their life. Huge financial crises. In these ways and other ways. These people are about to have such huge financial crises in their lives and other, uh, in their lives. Um, that, um, this is terrible, um, but in this way and other ways. So I think these board members or, or the wealthy, influential people that basically knew about this shit, connected to the board members or what have you, what have you, they're about to start experiencing huge financial hardship. Confirmation for my kitty, by the way. Come on, baby. I think it's intuitive one, but it might be fabulous. Come on. These people are about to ever regret treating this family this way. Ever regret it. These people are about to ever regret treating this family this way. Ever regret it. So these people are about to ever regret treating this family this way. Ever regret it. I, I think that you person um, outside the city, I heard you're about to get a huge wake up call. I think you're about to speak up on this um Head of household with the family that was abused, exploited, and taken advantage of, basically for a city gain here. I think you're about to speak up on their worth. Um, about this uh, person's door to value. I think it's a fem energy holding a coin. And with the cycles changing, um, I think she's able to manifest. I think she's still able to manifest. I think she was um, bullied, harassed, gang stalked, and targeted in her community. But I think these city council board members and highly influential people in her community, in her city, knew it. They obviously knew it, but they were gaining such money off her in the past that basically they didn't care because it was padding the city's pocketbook. Um, but it sounds like it's about to reverse. It sounds or it already has started reversing and it's about to continue to reverse. Um, but I think you're about to speak up on it, person outside of this um, city. I heard you're getting a huge wake up call. I think you're about to speak up on it about her door to value or your door to value or somebody's door to value. Um, how that resonates and applies. We have door to value woman holding a coin. I think it's a femme energy that was ahead of the household that was taken advantage of with her family. And then world reverse. Uh, sorry, world upright. Cycles changing. I think she's still able to manifest. I think she's still able to manifest. And I think these people are so cold and so uncaring because all they cared about was the money. To make the city look good. The money to um, have people come in and um, 
and purvey the businesses and to um, look at, oh, how pretty our city is, but you really don't know how we got the money. It's on the down low. Nay, nay, that's naughty, naughty, naughty for anybody who needs to hear that. Cycles have changed and they're about to and they're going to continue to change. Energies are about to shift. These people are about to have to figure it out on their own. Without the family. Okay. I heard um, cycles have already changed. They're going to continue to change. And basically, um, they're going to have to figure out basically manifestation and ways to make other illegal behind the scenes money um, without the family. Um, it sounds like the head of household or head of households has moved on. They got out of this shit. And um, for some of you, if you're the head of household, or had a household, maybe you moved, or you're planning on moving, or you're saving up to move, possibly. But this is some toxic shit. It's toxic. This is real toxic, real toxic. But I heard they're about, it's, cycles are about to change for you, person that was taken advantage of, had a household that was taken advantage of, or had a household. Um, I still think you're able to manifest money. Uh, you're showing up as one woman holding a coin with door, door to value. And I think you've been speaking up on this crap that's been happening to you. I think you've spoke up on it or you are. Um, I think you're a social justice warrior. I think you have no problem speaking up um, if there is an injustice. And I'm serious. I heard they're going to have to figure it out on their own. And yeah, absolutely. They should have to figure it out on their own because they shouldn't have done what they did. They shouldn't have done what they did. And that's just the truth. Someone that recently moved into this city is about to have a conversation with someone that's lived in this city a long time. Once this occurs, they're about to realize that a feminine energy they have met in the past that was abused and exploited by this city realized that she is that she was telling the truth the whole time. This person that recently moved into the city is about to make a phone call, a very important phone call. It's about to be positively life-changing for her. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Okay, so you could be the fem energy that recently moved into this city. You plug it in, how it resonates. But fem energy that recently moved into this city with this toxic shit that's about to start occurring in this city. So I think if you live in this city, you're about to see this crap go down, basically. So you have to plug it in, how it resonates, okay? It hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. Um, I feel for some, you take your kids to ball teams or ball team activities like I used to take my kids to, um, or um, because there's a lot of ball field energy in there, or you visit downtown, or you work downtown, or something like that, okay? But I think you're about to see the manifestations in downtown, in these ball fields, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The light pole, and somebody's still in the copper, I mean... That's low, but you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, um, you recently moved to this city. You recently moved, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. You recently moved to this city. And basically, I heard you're about to have a conversation with somebody that has lived in the city a while. So you're about to have a conversation with somebody that lived in the city a while. And I heard once you do, you're about to realize that a feminine energy that you met in your past, there was some kind of conversation you had with her or 
something she told you or something you know of her or something like that, you're about to realize what she was saying was the truth. And I heard once you once you realize it, ma'am, ma'am or sir, you mean ma'am or sir, I heard you're going to make a phone call to somebody outside the city. You're about to make a phone call to somebody outside the city. I think it's the contact of somebody you, you used to know because I heard you just recently moved here um, to this city. And I heard you're going to make a very important phone call. So I think it's somebody you know or maybe you're going to get connections to get a contact to somebody important to connect with. And I heard once you do, um, you're going to um, connect to somebody. And once you do, it's going to help this person out in a huge way. Um, I heard once you have a conversation with this person, you're going to realize that this person, what they're saying or has said is true. And then you're going to make the phone call outside your city. And then it's going to end up helping her. So you plug yourself in where you fit, sir, ma'am. You just recently moved to this city. However, that resonates and applies, okay? And I think that's going to make the cycle changes too with the world. I think it's going to make the cycle changes as well. Um, and you are going to open up your throat chakra and speak about this. I think she was, um, she, there was a huge injustice done to her. Um, and you're about to figure out she, that there was. And um, I think you might be wealthy. Or building yourself up to become wealthy, ma'am, whoever you are. You plug it in how it resonates. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, I hope this helps so much. I love everybody so much, and everybody have a wonderful day, and namaste.